Hey, hey, welcome back to Bottomless Brunch at Coleman's. I hope you're having as much fun as I am. Taking a little break, chilling out on a Sunday and making a cocktail and eating some good food and getting to know someone new. Today, my guest is anything but common. We met on Ava DuVernay's film, Selma, and he is truly, truly a gifted artist. Grammy Award winner, Oscar Award winner, and also my good buddy. His name is Common. And we also have a good friend of mine who we first met on this film, this little film called First Match, which made a great impact on Netflix. And now he's moving on to star in the movie Candyman. And I also happen to be starring in that movie as well. <laughs> Please welcome the guy that you may know as Black Manta and Aquaman. I know him as my sweet little brother, Yaya Abdul-Mateen. I hope you're ready to come on in. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna chill out, leave all your cares at my doorstep. We're gonna have a good afternoon. All right, let's go in. All right, here they are, my main men. We have Lonnie, Karant, Jaman, Shuka, Rashid, Lin, also known as Common. And we also have Yahya Abdul Mateen II, not the first, the Going second. Up. It got better the second time, right? <laughs> there we go, there we go. But Coleman, I have to begin this by telling you that all those names in on my Wikipedia, all those middle names are not my name. Somebody else put that on my, put that, put <laughs> wait, that wait, on wait, my wait, wait, And they wait. keep doing that to me. And I'm mad, <laughs> my, my whole name is Lonnie Rashid Lynn. I full out was researching, I'm like, wait, I didn't know he had that many names. No. Nah. And I didn't know that it was a fraud. My mother called me like, when did you get all these names? I was like, you made my name. You <laughs> <laughs> my name, so. It's secretly me. I got tired of having the longest name in Hollywood, so I'm just. Yeah, so, so you're the one who's adding to Common's name. Huh? I believe it. I believe it, because Yaya got that long name. <laughs> yeah, I got a big old name, man. I thought I was just keeping it a little weird with, you know, Coleman Domingo. People are like, oh, that's such a, that seemed like a made up name. That's my dad's name. You guys have the most unique names, I think. <laughs> What are you? What have you been missing right now since we've been um, on lockdown? Man, pe people, community. You know, just uh, just really the simple things. You know, passing somebody on the street, saying hello. You know, uh, embraces from you know uh, uh, friends and family, and meeting fans and just interacting with people on the street. Just those small moments. Yeah. What about you, Common? As we were forced to go into quarantine, I started really looking at the benefits of just being still and being creative in certain ways that I probably wouldn't have had the time to. So I'm looking at all those benefits and seeing, you know, how I can be better in this time and come out of it better. I've been in the garden so deep. I have been like, I didn't know. That's all I do. I love being in the soil. And I found this new joy that I, I think I never made time for. Gardening is, is such like metaphor for life anyway. Like when you in your garden growing and planting seeds and yeah. like letting life like letting life and the sun take take things to the next level. It's like really yeah. a metaphor, but I've been finding stuff that I love to do that is not going to get a result. Meaning like yeah. I go out sometimes and just dribble the basketball because I love basketball, right? So I just go out and dribble the ball. I used to do this when I was a kid and it made me realize, man, this is something I love to do. I'm not going pro. I'm not yeah. looking for it like this. <laughs> right, I'm just doing right, it right. because I, I love to do it. All right, you guys wanna have some brunch? What you make? I've been eating a lot of good stuff, right? But I saw I gotta balance it out with some healthy stuff. So I decided that for my brunch, I was gonna do this cantaloupe with a little All coconut right. spices, some blueberries on there. You know, it's a good little brunch, you know. I, I it's like healthy. chilling out. It's clean, it's yeah. clean, clean food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, what did you make? So look, man, I got uh, oatmeal with a little bit of a uh, trail mix in there. And then I got uh, scrambled eggs and then uh, uh, spinach uncooked, just Ooh. raw, washed uh, spinach. And I eat this, I, I eat it every day. And I'm everybody's drunk uncle this morning. <laughs> I decided to make, I smoked some ribs, you guys. <laughs> These were smoked for five hours. I was out there, you know, with my man tools. Uh, <laughs> you know, making, you know, I have a hand on my hip looking back. All right, when these when these things gonna be done? You know, yeah, yeah. I'm talking to nobody. <laughs> Busting out all the imaginary nieces and nephews. <laughs> exactly. All right, bon appetit, everybody. Take a little bite. Get you some, all right? All right, bon I'll start here so I won't have ribs in my teeth. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let me get to you later. We're going to 
gonna make some sangria, so some some summer sangria. I sent you some uh, some things to put in it, right? And what, what did I send you, Yaya? Yeah, yeah. All right, let me see. So I got some um, <clears throat> got some uh, brandy. Okay. Here. Yeah. Good. We're gonna uh -huh. be using that. That's gonna go inside. <laughs> some uh, red wine. Is that in a can? We in the middle of a pandemic right now, so you know, bakers can't be choosing. We gonna take what we can get. We got some tomato juice. That was a joke. I, I know, don't put that tomato juice in there. I told you, I'm gonna take everything I can get. I got apple juice, and I got a little bit of fruit down there too. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just follow your instructions. I'm gonna put it all in and put a chicken wing in there. Exactly. So <laughs> great as well as you put anything in there. What about you, Common? What, what you, what you got, Common? Yeah, I'm, I love sangria, Coleman, As you know, that's one of my favorite drinks. But see, I already stopped pouring, so I got some wine that that I that I put in there a little bit, just a little bit, cause I, you know, I ain't want to get too lit already. Once I start drinking, I want to drink for the rest of the day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so let's just make some. All right, we're gonna make a, everything is the taste. All right, I'm gonna open up the uh, brandy. You can start with the brandy. You can start anywhere you want. I'm gonna. I, I like to chop up all my fruit first. I got this giant mason jar. Am I to just pour? Put all your fruit in there first. I got kiwi, I'm putting right. apple, I'm putting pineapple, I'm putting some blueberries. I'm gonna put some of this cantaloupe in there. Yeah, there we go. go, get some cantaloupe. Anything else you got, throw it in there. Any good, good fruit. You got the fruits, man. Mm -hmm. That's what I, lo I love about sangria, it's a refreshing drink. I, I always drink it because it makes me think like I'm drinking Kool-Aid in a way. And then it, <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> And then it's six hours later and you, <laughs> right? It does sneak up on you when it's good. Six hours later, you hosting a jam session on Instagram Live. <laughs> <laughs> you know? There's common with all that same reason. Exactly, exactly. I'm gonna go forward and add some sweet and I'm gonna put some brown sugar in this baby. I'm gonna put, it's all to take. You gotta do it like your mama would. So I yeah. I'm gonna start with two. <laughs> I'm gonna start with two to make it light, lightly sweet. Where do you see this man coming in uh, Candyman? Oh man, I can't wait, man. Coleman and I did uh, did a movie called uh, First Match. Was that 2016 or something like that, Coleman? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, I said I got to get opposite this brother again, man. I can't wait to do something again with you. I think that I think that I think the three of us and everybody can grow a beard, can grow a beard that connects too. You know, that's, 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 that's the same. We all got the beards that connect. Let's go. Let's start with the red wine. Let's put the red wine up in that joint. I got my can. I got my wine in the can. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just putting a whole bottle in there. Put it all in there. I love it, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, so you got the red wine in there, and I go for a little of the uh, either cognac or rum. I would say for yeah, for that, that's a big old bottle, man. Well, let me see what you're doing. Hey, I think I'm gonna be the one on Instagram live by the time we finish with this. Well, let's see what you're doing. Let's see, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Bam. All right, good. Are you gonna stir this baby up a little bit? I'm gonna stir it up, give it a little taste. All right, let's stir it up. Bye, Mari. Right. Oh, all right. That's all right. But right now, we're just gonna put this in here. You wanna get some pieces of fruit in there too, so it's all pretty. Ah, oh, look at that, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. All right, y'all. Uh, wait, who wants to give the toast today? Usually I would give the toast, but I think one of my friends should give the toast. Yeah, man, look, I'll say uh, one thing for me, even in this moment, is uh, excellent company, man. And, and, you know, this has really made my day 10 times better, if not, if not more. So uh, I appreciate the company, I appreciate the lesson. Thank you for the brunch you know, to a community and brotherhood. Yes, sir. Community Thank you. Thank yes, you, sir. Cheers. Cheers. I'm going to be lit. <laughs> oh, yeah, that works. Everybody back at home, you can find out this recipe on amc.com slash brunch. You see how long it took me to say that off of one sip? All right, y'all, I'm going to go off the cuff a little bit. All right, if we have to be quarantined again, who would you like to bring with you? Your barber or your best friend? I'm gonna go with my best friend because I don't care. When I'm quarantined, I, I actually enjoyed letting my, like I said, y'all heard me talk about, it. I had my George <laughs> Jefferson growing and that joint <laughs> felt, I felt liberation, I felt freedom, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. there we go. I would go best friend seven days out of the week. Man, I didn't already cut my hair and messed it up twice. I figured, I figured if the quarantine lasts long enough, then I'll be a barber by the end of quarantine. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna just up with a best friend out of nowhere. Right. I have a question for you. What is, um, what is, what was one of the first bits of poetry that you ever created, Common? Mm. 
it was this rap I wrote when I was with my cousin, my cousin named Ajale, God bless his soul. It's the first rap I wrote. And I wrote this rap. I said, well, let me tell you about a trip a time ago. I was going there to run a cold blooded show. When I was there, I saw some people jamming too. They called themselves the Bar Hill Crew. Dr. Ice, yeah. Romeo, and Master E. All of the Bar Hill Crew rapping to a T. I asked them, could they rock with me? That's all I remember from that, but that was my first rap right there. <laughs> oh, man, yes. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, yeah, you do many things. Have you ever tried to rap? Oh, man, my. Yeah, come on, y'all, y'all, tell the truth. Come you on, y'all, y'all, come on. <laughs> you know I tried to, well, you don't know, but you have to know I tried to rap. Now, I done tried everything, man. Give me my, one, give me one, give me one, give, give, me one. give, give me a short one. Oh, 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 I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think this is my best interest to do that. Come on, y'all. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you the story. I was, I was uh, six years old, and uh, me and my sisters, we were writing a rap for uh, a talent show. How does that, how does that go? I'm six years old. I wrote this when I was six and go, oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on, y'all. Let's go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go, ahead. go, ahead. go <laughs> rap to the beat. You know what I mean? Suckers on the corner just playing around. I'm saying, like a little baby that couldn't be found. Bottle here, people there. This stuff is everywhere. Going pow, pow here. Going jug, jug there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Flying in the air. Yeah. <laughs> it was. Yes. Just shooting dice. There we go. You know what I'm saying? Just rap to the oh. beat. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Rap to the beat. I feet. smell a new career. I smell a new career. <laughs> I was uh, six years old. A six year old Chuck D, bro, speaking about the yeah, air. Looking out the window, man, right about what I see, man. Yeah, yeah. Common, that's something about you. I've never seen anyone able, able to do what you do in my life, how you can just start going and spit at any moment mm. about anything, anything. Yeah. If I said, just just question, I'm gonna test you. If I said sangria, could you give me something about sangria? Yeah, <laughs> well let me speak. My style will be freer. While me and Coleman and Yaya drink the sangria. You uh, know how it is, common sense. They say common is. We sit and drink, and we might be bottomless. It's okay, it ain't no pit. These are the rhymes I spit. When it comes to this, it's never counterfeit. Yo, calm sense, they say I'm the handyman. You can catch Yaya and Coleman in Candyman. Candyman. You know how it go, you know how I flow. <laughs> y'all shot that movie where? In Chicago. That's how it is, y'all. You know the verse. Y'all did a movie that had the words called First. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh man, man. Do you have a go-to guilty pleasure? I'm a, I think it's I think it's those housewives shows, man. And I don't know what oh. it is. But check it's mine out. too. Let I, I ain't gonna lie. Mine's, mine's Atlanta. I'm mine's let Atlanta. Me you, let me tell you how I find it. I'm always with somebody that's watching it, and I'm like, man, I'm not watching that. I'm gonna, <laughs> and you know, I always end up watching it out the side of my eyes. Gradually, that, that other eye come around the corner, and then I watch it with a you know with a full face, and then it's like, hold up, no, hold up, man, let me let me see what they talk about. Don't bother me. Let me see what they fast forward to the next week, and I'm explaining what happened to somebody else. I'm catching them up to the episode and things yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, I thought you didn't watch that. Hey, leave me alone. Leave my mom. <laughs> Do you have any hidden talents? I have this ability in terms of a talent to um, apparently make people laugh with my very horrible, quick sketches. Can you, do you have any paper? Do you want to do one now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got, so I got some paper here. And uh, either one of you could raise your hand and volunteer and I'll do a quick, I'll do a quick sketch. Now, now the way that I do it is I don't, I don't look down at the paper. Do a butterfly. <laughs> do common air butterfly. Hey, and why he doing that? My, this was a hidden talent that I didn't know I had. I went to a wine okay. and, and paint. Y'all ever heard of painting wine? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna stand still for you so you can. No, do you think I'm already? I'm already into it. Look, <laughs> <laughs> look boy, you sound magical if you got that already. Look, <laughs> look. Hey, 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 Coleman, let me show you. I'm gonna show y'all. Let me see. This is my first painting I ever did. It just happened about a couple of months ago. That's beautiful. I think that's real dope how, how uh, my talent was to draw something and then your talent was something that you had painted. And so now you kind of set it up so that 
no matter what I show, it's not gonna it's not gonna live up to the time of you. If, 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 if you catch where I'm going, I mean to show you up with this. With this nah, that's all, that's all I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'll just that's give it, man. <laughs> so here we go. So wait, wait, this is uh, go for it. This Come is my butterfly. Boy. Right here, we got common. <laughs> right here. What? And this is the butterfly. Kind of <laughs> the butterfly right there that you asked for. So it's a you nice... Gotta, you, you, gotta, you gotta sign that instead of the common. Yeah, yeah, I never want you to draw me. That's beautiful. Thank you. That's what you think of me. Thank you, brother. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all ready for my hidden talent? Yeah, what's your hidden talent? I used to be in the circus, and that's for real. I was I started my career in the circus when I was about 21 years old. I learned how to juggle, I learned how to walk on stilts, five feet tall stilts and all that. But I'll show you a little juggling. I can still juggle three balls, I think. So I got three limes. I got an old lime right here, because I figured that's good to juggle with. Let's see if I can still wait, I just had a lot of that sangria. I don't know if yeah, I can juggle <laughs> <that. laughs> uh, Hold on, let me see. I tell you to sneak up on you. Hey, hey, look at that. Okay. Ah. He said, you got that? <laughs> thank you, thank you. I have some questions from some fans. Okay. Some fans knew you, you brothers were coming on and they wanted me to ask you a few things, all right? Man, I'm drinking all this sangria, man. Uh, I know, man. <laughs> I know, <laughs> man. Look, 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 I'm going to I'm, I'm have to make some plans. Common, what is the most enjoyable memory from your childhood? Me having my first birthday party. It was on the, like this this truck, this like, it, my mother rented this little bus and like, it was like the party bus. I don't know if y'all had them like in, in Philly or, y'all, y'all, you from New Orleans, right? Yeah, 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 I yeah. party buses. That, I, that's actually the first memory I have of my life is like being on that party bus. So that was my first, it was like, I think I was like four years old. Wow, oh, man, that's sweet. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Who was the most influential teacher in your life as a child? Two. One was Mr. Summerfield. He was a math teacher, and that's when math in school became fun. Mm -hmm. In high school, there was a teacher, his name was Mr. Sneed, and he was the English teacher. And Mr. Sneed taught me how to play chess. Mm -hmm. I still play chess today just about every day, and that was really, uh, that was a really, really influential part of my, uh, my part of my education. And, uh, learning how my athletic competitive drive could also uh, uh, translate to other other spaces in my life as well. Beautiful, man. Yeah, Come on. Yeah. Where's the place that you have not visited and really want to go sometime? Ghana. I haven't been to Ghana, man. Mm. You know, I want to touch down on the continent of Africa where, you know, like, I, I feel like it's it's black. It's just black and it's like, you know, um, and, I, and so many people I know who've who are of African descent, who parents are from Ghana. They always talk about how beautiful the country is and the people are, and it's been welcoming. Uh, have you done your 23andMe and uh, figure out your lineage? Yeah, I, I did. Lot, I, I, have a, I, have a, I have a lot of Ghana and me and Ivory Coast and Nigeria. Exactly, wow. Sierra Leone. That's that. Yeah. Well, Al, my, my, father, my father's side traced Sierra Leone and Cameroon. And then uh, my mother was um, Senegal. So yeah, I'm, that's that's where I, when I trace my ancestry. What about you, yeah, yeah? No, I have not, man. I can tell you right now, Nigerian, Ghana, Sierra Leone, because you look like my brother. It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Actually, actually, I, I'll just, I'll just save my money. You just send me yours, and I'll just, I'll just uh, take a screenshot. Right? I'll be like, yeah, that's about it. I have one more question for you both, because I just, yeah. this is just something I was just thinking about. Um, what do you hope for, as we, as we hopefully exit this pandemic and this, you know, stay-at-home measure? What do you hope for the world, or for the planet, or for people and humanity? So what this did was this sat me down and caused me to say, what do you have? Like, what do you, like, literally, what do you have? Um, hmm. who, who's important to you? What are the relationships? Uh, what type of artist do you want to be? What type of person and lifestyle do you want to have? And my hope is that is that we move forward with, uh, you know, and enter into a space of creativity uh, and happiness and uh, honesty. What I hope for, for humanity is that, um, we recognize that that God is is the true source of of all things, and if we, you know, whomever that God may be to you, I'm not into religion, but if we like to seek God first, and in that, as a humanity, we would look at each other and see that Creator in the next person 
Um, and and no, because this this pandemic has already put us all on one plane. Coleman, tell us what you what you want the world to to, to be when, Man, as we get out of this. I, I think I, I want the world to be kinder. I want us to be more understanding of each other. And we remember this moment that was filled with grace and people doing beautiful things to take care of one another. The, yes. the healthcare workers, the people on the front line. I want us to remember that. Don't forget, don't forget that that, that stock person was making sure that you had those eggs every morning you needed or, or those sanitation wipes. Don't forget these people anymore. You know, before I think that we just, we took these people for granted. And now we're like, we need you, man. We need you, sis. So, yes. so I, I hope that we don't forget that. Yes, you know? yes. And with that, I want to say thank you so much for joining me. You guys got me a, a little emotional today. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank thank you. you. I, I, a toast. Um, so. Tell everybody back at home, just drink responsibly. See, we're just at home drinking. Don't be going out right now. <laughs> just stay in the house, just, have your sangria and chill, right? Just have your sangria, enjoy your day at home with whatever your loved ones you have there. And just, man, just enjoy it. Just, that's it. I'm going to say this, man. Y'all follow whatever concoction I made at home because this is going to be great. Well, no, I'm feeling great. So they got a little video. We got the concoction, man. <laughs> Thank you, Coleman, for having us on, man. Yeah, yeah, it's been great to build with you, brother. Like, yeah, we yeah. got to do this again. I, I love and appreciate you both. Thanks for coming on. All love right. you, brother. Take appreciate it easy. y'all. All right, peace. Um, when you think about it, all the fun brunches, the alluring cocktails, it's all about bringing people together. And right now it's a good time to strengthen those bonds and reach out to your friends, even virtually. I'm doing it all day long. <laughs> so I hope you'll join me again next week. I'll see you for brunch. We'll make another phenomenal cocktail and we'll get to know each other just a little bit better, okay? Until then, drink responsibly. Take care of yourself. Stay home, stay safe. And I'll see you next week at my home. Bye-bye. Thank you.